Well folks, it appears to be a windy day in Georgia and thankfully the sun is actually out and I'm hoping that that wind is not going to affect my audio any more than it's going to affect my hair. Alright, so today is going to be one of those little fun videos. It's a viewer request and they said, hey, I have a Skywatcher EQ6 or a Sirius and I use EQ Mod and I want to use the game controller because there's times when you want to look through your Telrad and you're away from your computer and you want to just be able to manipulate the telescope in the sky without having to stand behind your computer and push the buttons on the screen. Super, super easy. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set one up. So stay tuned. So what I'm going to show you guys is one, how to get the software loaded on your computer. I'm going to make the huge assumption. Now we know what assumptions all about here, but I've made a video previously that tells you how to get EQ Mod up and running, but I'm going to show you what additional piece that you need to install on your computer so you can use your game controller, okay? Now when I say game controller, I'm talking about one of these that you can hijack from your kid they happen to be a USB connection, so really any one of these that you can find, um, you can pick them up secondhand really cheap. This particular one is a little hard to find on Amazon for some reason. I guess they've sold out of them or newer generations come, but all you need is a game controller. Any manufacturer, any brand will work that works with a USB cable, okay? Now to get it up and running, all you need to do is to plug it in to either the PC that you've got on the scope, the PC that you're running, you know, down low, or in a USB hub. Doesn't matter where in the chain you connect it to, okay? So I'm going to connect it to a hub. All right, so I've got it all connected real easy here, okay? Now that it's connected, I'm going to turn on EQ Mod and get my mount talking to it, okay? So let's pop over to the computer for just a minute. All right guys, so we're over here on the computer and the first thing we need to do is install the necessary component so we can get our gamepad controller working. So I'm over here on Google and I'm gonna type in EQ Mod, okay? And we'll let Mr. Google find this for us here. And it's this first one, EQ Mod on the sourceforge.net. And we're going to open this up. Now, once again, I am assuming that you have already installed EQ Mod and it works for you on your mount. But the additional component you need to install is this EQ ASCOM. And you may have already installed that, but just didn't realize that's all you needed to get this up and running. Now, this particular driver works with your game controllers, and we're gonna scroll down here, and you're gonna see what they have defaulted for your controllers here. They've got the buttons on the side for slewing, um, a line, you know, but what you need to know from this diagram really is that this is 100% customizable to what works for you. And you'll see in a minute that I don't use any of these suggested buttons because to me it's just way too much going on. I use the buttons over here to let me slew north, east, south, and west. And then I've got these four buttons over here set as my slew rate. My first one up here at the 12 o'clock position is my very slowest slew rate. And I've got a little bit faster quite a bit faster and then I've got very fast and other than that I don't really do anything else I do have an emergency stop and I've got it set for one of these buttons in here okay that's just in case it's slewing to the wrong spot and I need to oh no 
stop everything. But that's all I have set. And they have made it really, really easy for us to set things. Now, when we go and open up the EQ mod and look at all these settings here, and you're wondering, well, what's button 10, what's button 5, 7, and so forth, all you do is you push the button on your game controller and it will light up which one of these it is and say, okay, well, I really want north to be my button one, east to be my button two, south, button four, and so forth like that. But just by pushing the button, something will light up and it will tell you what button it is. Super, super easy. Now, before all of this, it says prior to installing the EQ ASCOM itself, make sure you have the ASCOM platform installed on your PC. Now, I'm going to bet that you have already done this, so you should really be good to go. Okay, so now we are ready to go ahead and download this EQ ASCOM on your computer. Go over here to the Downloads tab, and it's going to tell you that all their latest downloads are over here on SourceForge. So go ahead and select that and it will open up a new window for you. And you just scroll down in this list and say, well, I want the EQ ASCOM. Go ahead and install it and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back here on my desktop. I have the EQ ASCOM installed. I'm going to open up my toolbox for the EQ ASCOM. And let's see, I am going to go to ASCOM Connect. There we go. It is now looking at my mount. Currently my mount is parked and I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and unpark it, okay? And we're gonna come over here to this game pad configuration. And I'm going to select the little wrench here so we can configure it. Now that I have the EQ mod launched and I've installed the EQ as calm so I could work one of these game controllers, and I have the game controller plugged in USB via a hub and uh, here comes the wind again. I want to show you how to configure these buttons to do what you want them to do, okay? Now over here on the computer we have a whole bunch of listed items here that we can do. And right now it's on rate 4. If I change it to rate 1 you can see the slider bar is all the way up here. It's slower rate two it comes down a little bit faster and you just slide this to wherever you want it to be okay but i'm going to go on a fast speed here and i'm going to move the camera so you can see the telescope here let's see all right so we can see the telescope here and i'm going to go ahead and say fast and let's slew to the west and you will see the telescope is actually rotating towards you okay so now let's say, let's go north, and you can see that it's pivoting down towards us. And let's say, let's go east. But you can see it's moving relatively quickly. Now if I change it to this really slow, this is for the fine details, you're not really going to see it move. But it's moving. It's just a snail pace move, which is exactly what you want to do when you're just, you're really close to a target and you just need to slew it just a touch. Let's go to medium speed. Can't really see it moving, but it is moving. I hear it. So it works really great. Now, I would be sure to program one of these buttons as your emergency stop button just in case these things go a different way. You can program all the buttons on here to be anything that you want. If you can handle more than memorizing the eight, nine buttons, go for it. Me, I'm limited on this, so I did my slew directions, my speed, my emergency stop, and that's all I've got programmed. The rest, I just leave them blank so I don't press a button and have it go do something I don't want it to do. All right, so let's pop back over to the computer real quick. I'm going to run inside, warm up, get away from this wind, and I'm going to show you on the screen in a little bit more detail than what I can show you out here on the screen because I have a feeling it probably didn't take very well. Be right back. Pad configuration. And what I did is I clicked on Park to Home. I chose the button on my keypad. I pressed it, 
it told me what button it was and that's the button that's now set up for but I want you to notice that I chose button number eight and over here button number eight happens to be decrease my deck rate well I don't really want to have a decrease my deck rate so I am going to hit delete if it lets me there we go and I'm gonna get rid of these and actually I'm not hitting delete I'm selecting the button and I am hitting the right mouse button and it is going to zero I don't want to confuse myself with any other buttons that are going here now you can also use these to sync your points if you want to um, just go ahead and choose which button you want to use I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out just because I don't use them I just stick with the basics north east south and west and you can go far as far as doing northeast northwest southeast and southwest if you want to but really just play with these and use the ones that are the most helpful to you I've just got my direction my rate of speed here a home and emergency stop I'll say apply all changes there we go and there it is now once again the RA rate and speed here I've got speed rate 2 and I can scroll this up and you can see that the speed right here is changing so make that however fast or slow you want it to be okay if I want speed rate 3 you can see where they're sitting at right now and speed rate 4 is all the way down here to the fastest speed it possibly can let's go back to 2 I've got them both set at 8 and 1 this is just one tiny tiny little nudge it's it's not a whole lot but when you're looking through your finder scope and stuff you'll see that 1 is more than sufficient in some cases okay so really not that bad install the ASCOM driver for it which nine chances out of ten you've already got it installed you just need to configure your gamepad get yourself any gamepad you can find that it will work on a computer it's got a USB 2 port and that's it really all right so now you too can be one of the cool kids on the block and operate your mount using a gamepad controller just steal one from your kids buy one off of Amazon pick one up at uh, secondhand shops they're pretty easy to find you just got to go looking okay but they do make things a whole lot easier they are much better than using the original controller that comes with these mounts on those little accordion type telephone cables because they never really they never go far enough away as you want them to go they always sling back and bounce around and and they're just a pain in the butt but let me show you something really quick that I like to do is I've actually taken the cable here and zip tied a small loop in it and this small loop hooks to a command hook on my tripod leg so all I have to do is set it there during the night and it's good to go it's easy for me to find in the dark and it's just a command hook you know we've all got those things laying around and I do have a glow-in-the-dark sticker on it so at night I can generally find it when I'm looking for it okay because these little stickers they last forever but if you guys like this type of content please consider subscribing hit that alert bell so you know when I upload new astro related material don't forget to hit like share this with all your astro friends everybody is welcome here if you have a question leave it in the comments below or follow me over there on Facebook is Amy Astro Adventures and I've got more links down there for you to find me I'm on the got a, a website I'm on Facebook I'm just about everywhere I will drive you nuts with it okay so please ask me a question I will do my best to respond to that question and give you an answer as best that I know the answer to it um, if I don't I send you somewhere else and I tell you who generally knows the answer to that question but if it's a question that I've been asked repeatedly or something that I I'm have the ability to I will make you a video just like this one that I made for another viewer out there that specially requested this so thank you for the request for this video I hope you enjoyed it and 
I will see you guys in the next video. I am Amy Astro. I am wishing you guys clear skies, great health, and I will see you all in the next video. I love all of y'all. Goodbye, y'all.